Okay, so, so one of the first things that I noticed at the new site is now we have a tab for developing applications and a separate one for distributing applications. Right. So I guess this is really where the, mar the Windows Marketplace for mobile comes in, is, is now you, this is a way you can actually distribute your applications globally. Yeah, and what we were looking to do with this one was really to bring to the forefront some of the um, key resources for developing applications and distributing applications. So um, in addition to um, what we currently have with some of the distribution um, channels for, say, um, for testing, stability, and performance, those are links that will bring you into deeper content that you've otherwise seen throughout the MSDN um, area in the past. But what we're doing with this first rev is to really bring these things and call them out as the top level and key resources. Are you referring to the developer center? For the developer center, yes. OK, OK. But, but the MSDN Developer Center is, is also still uh, Yeah, absolutely. Big There's a tight interlinking between the two portals. Nice. Okay. So uh, you can also go, I guess, check, check out the, the Windows Mobile Team blog, um, upcoming events, so folks can check those out too. Right. So the Team blog is on the home page. Uh, so we wanted to bring that because so there are so many different contributors to the Windows Mobile Team blog. So we brought that to the home page um, of the portal. And then in the community page, we go a little bit deeper with the community lead blog. and. Where's the community page? Right here. There you go, up on top. Got yeah. uh, So these yeah. top navs, like nav into the content here, and then these are like additional resources. And then some of the stuff that's within a couple of the tabs are additional resources. So the community um, area, this is an area where um, developers can follow us on Twitter, Twitter they can join the Facebook group, um, and then also get quick links to all the team blogs and other resources. And we've also brought up um, live RSS for the community lead blog. So they can come here and keep checking back and get you know up-to-date info. Uh, so what can you tell me about the Marketplace tab? What, what kind of information are they going to find here? So the Marketplace, um, this area on the tab, it will grow. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to grow on this tab, and this is going to be the actual place where they're going to start the engaging process of, of uploading their apps um, to distribute them in the marketplace. So a lot of new enhancements are going to be coming to this area coming up pretty quick. Right now there's not a live, oh, there is. I can't None click on any of these. None of these are clickable. OK, these so are not clickable. Yeah. Not yet. They're not clickable yet. They will be, um, and we'll, we'll bring out a little more information on that. So, so let me ask you one more question then, because as a developer, when I see something like stay tuned for more information, I mean, I really want to know what can I do, because I want to take some action. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, we have a newsletter, and if they go back to the overview page, um, to basically the home page, um, everyone should sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter will get them up-to-date information on everything that's coming up. So. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, right. when they can do that, exactly. I'm going to register right now. All right. <laughs> Check it out. So what would you say are the uh, key call to act, calls to action for developers coming to our site? I think the key call to action right now for developers to sort of stay informed and everything that's coming up is to make sure that they sign up for the newsletter. Um, there's going to be a lot of announcements going, um, going on around the Windows Mobile um, the Windows Marketplace for mobile. And then also... So this newsletter right here? Yep. OK. So sign up newsletter for the newsletter. right there. And they can go ahead and register. And that's going to be about a monthly to bi-monthly newsletter. OK, about nice. Now. Also, for, um, for developers who are just getting started and they're new to Windows Mobile development is to go ahead and um, to go immediately to the Get Started. Um, there's two areas you can get to it. You can get it to the top navigation uh, from the top navigation. Or there's a call to action just a little bit in the black bar there, Get Started. That kind of goes through develop, test, and release, and what to expect. and and uh, just some guidance there. OK, so I see. We've got the Develop tab, uh, Test, and Distribute. Yes. Seems uh, like some simple steps. OK. And that's the point, is to make it quick and easy. So thanks for taking me on a tour of the site. Um, so what can developers look for in the future on this portal? Yeah, I think um, the next step, over the next few months, uh, the first thing that they'll see is they'll be able to create an account profile. And in doing that, they'll be registering um, to then go to the next step, which is to upload their applications in the marketplace um, and go through the certification process. So there's a lot of great things coming on the horizon. Fantastic. Thank you. Again, that's developer.windowsmobile.com. Uh, thanks for joining. Thank you.